say goodbye to Bernie Sanders after his disturbing secret he desperately tried to hide just came out. During the 2016 presidential election, the country was introduced to Bernie Sanders. The independent senator from Vermont who really tickled the millennials' fancy with his promises of free health care and free education. Sanders also promised these impressionable idiots that the government would take care of them and that capitalism was the root of all evil. Oh, but Sanders was just getting warmed up with his blame game. This raging divider also slammed individuals who were successful and enjoyed a comfortable lifestyle. But, Sanders really didn't practice what he preached, and what was just discovered should destroy his fan base for good. Sanders really struck a chord with the youth who are big fans of massive wealth distribution and higher taxes. Of course, many of us thought that no one would buy into this garbage, but boy we were wrong. In a survey that was taken last year, it actually showed that 43% of Americans under the age of 30 had a favorable view of socialism. So, while the millennials fawned over their socialist crusader, Sanders was actually making a killing. According to Sanders' latest U.S. Senate financial disclosure, he made a ton of money off these idiots. According to Breitbart, the Seven Days piece, published on Sunday and written by political columnist John Walters, states that a large chunk of that income came from a $795,000 advance for his best-selling book, Our Revolution. Sanders also got $63,750 for an upcoming book, Bernie Sanders' Guide to Political Revolution, a publication aimed at young readers and co-authored with Kate Waters, according to Seven Days. And Sanders received $6,735 in royalties for his 1997 memoir Outsider in the House, Seven Days reported. That's more than $865,000 for peddling his working-class ideas, Walters wrote. Not bad. Add in an additional $2,521 Sanders earned last year in royalties from his 1987 spoken word folk album, We Shall Overcome. Senate rules do not require members to report their government salaries on their annual disclosures, but all rank and file members earn $174,000 a year. That, combined with the more than $878,000 Sanders reported in his filing, puts the Democratic Socialists' 2016 payday at roughly $1,052,000, seven days reported. And he actually made more, but it's uncertain how much more, in addition to his take-home pay, publisher St. Martin's Press paid all expenses on Sanders' national book tour last November and December, which took him to 12 states and the District of Columbia. Disclosure of the total was not required, and Sanders did not provide it. Then there's a batch of retirement mutual funds held in the name of his wife, Jane O'Meara Sanders, the Seven Days Peace states, adding that while it's impossible to ascertain the exact value of the retirement funds, but they are worth somewhere between $192,000 and $815,000. In the liabilities category, Sanders reports he has two mortgages one worth between $250,001 and $500,000 the other worth between $100,001 and $250,000. Sanders' most infamous real estate transaction his 2016 purchase of a $575,000 lakefront home in North Hero has been concealed behind an entity named the Islands Family Trust, seven days reported. In his Senate filing, Sanders discloses that he is a co-trustee in a family trust created when we bought a summer home. Even with all these financial facts, there could be more to learn if Sanders released his tax returns, which he did not. During his 2016 presidential campaign, Sanders released only a summary of his 2014 tax return. As the fact-checking website PolitiFact noted, of all the candidates for president last year, Sanders' releases are less extensive than anybody's but Donald Trump. In an April article published by Newsweek entitled Bernie Sanders Mocks Greedy Rich People, Is Also Rich, the news about his summer home purchase was reported. Sanders and his wife, Jane, recently bought a summer home in Vermont on Lake Champlain to add to their houses in D.C. and Burlington, Vermont, Newsweek reported. Local magazine Seven Days reported in August the Sanders family paid about $600,000 for the lakefront home in North Hero, Vermont.
I wonder what these burnbots have to say about this? These young people were lied to by this man, but I am sure they will defend him to the end. Sanders pandered to these lazy individuals and they handed their money over to him without any questions asked. Sanders is making so much money off saying that capitalism is evil, and does not apologize for it one bit. If he did Sanders would be giving away his money to all those unfortunate people who are suffering. And, we know that is not going to happen in the near future. This just goes to prove what hypocrites these liberals are. They do not care about anyone but making money and more victims. They create division and animosity between people that does not need to be there. Instead of telling people that desiring success is good they will demean it in order to cause class envy. I just hope that those who supported Sanders will see this for what is. That they were manipulated and used for Sanders to live a comfortable life and he is not sharing it with anyone. Share if you are sick of liberal hypocrisy. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.